What's going on guys? Charcoal Fish Guy here. Today we're going to do a makeover slash maintenance on the 29 gallon tank. We've already replaced the light. If you haven't seen my video on the cheap lights, I got a good one for you here on these cheap lights here. I'll leave a link to the, the video I did there as well as links in the description below. Uh, those are really good lights. Uh, highly recommend them. And let me show you what we're going to do. Yeah, these lights right here, these are Aquanet lights. Just replaced that with the, the bulky setup that I had. Very nice lighting. And then I noticed, dude, you've got way too much overgrowth on this guppy grass here. So what I'm going to do, I mean, because I've got some cool plants back there. I've got some java fern, I think, and some java moss stuck back there. You can see this little cool, little, maybe that's a sword. I don't know what that is but it's being smothered so i'm going to take that out i'm going to do a water change pretty good size water change vacuum a little bit of the gravel not too much i remove some of that floating well i might leave some floating guppy grass i don't know guppy grass is good floating or weighed down in this case weighed down is really good so but i'm going to just tear a whole bunch out and let's take a look here okay this should be a quick one here it is before Look at all that guppy grass. Wow. I could probably sell this stuff. Anybody want any guppy grass? No, just kidding. I don't sell stuff. Alright guys, look at that after. Oh my goodness, what a big difference, huh? All that guppy grass in there is removed. You can actually see that I have other plants in there. A whole bunch of java fern in there. Got some kind of sword back there. More java fern, more java fern. Nice piece of anubius in there that was hidden back there. Nice little plant. I'm not sure what kind that is, but it's really pretty. Got another one. It's got a nice vowel of some sort. I'm not sure if anybody knows what that is. Let me know. But another one of those sword things right there. Got some crypts right there. Got some more little java fern. Got some water sprite. Man, got some more java fern back there. Got java moss. More java moss. Java fern. As you can see, they've got lots of room to swim around in. Looking a lot better, looking a lot more lively. Here's the rainbow fish pair they're always dancing about. Aren't they beautiful? If you haven't checked it out already, check out the uh, rainbow fish video I did. I'll leave a thing up here somewhere. But those are really, really awesome fish. Thread fin rainbows. How about that? Aren't they nice? And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of, since I did a pretty good water change and I need these plants to bounce back, I'm going to use the Thrive C from Nylock G. This is real easy fertilizer, guys, for a low-tech aquarium, which means no CO2 and not super high lighting, but mainly no CO2. So I'm going to pump this in there, at five, one pump per five gallons. So this is 29 gallons, so 30 gallons is what? Six pumps? Sounds about right. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
All right, it'll get those plants fertilized and everybody's out and about enjoying life now. Look at that. Give me a like if you like the after. Man, I do like the after. If I do say so myself, that is nice. That's something I can look at all day long again without all that guppy grass. All right, guys, so that's the 29 gallon maintenance slash makeover. Let me know if you guys like the after or the before. Uh, either way, leave a comment below and hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification if you want to get all these fish videos. And who, who wouldn't want that, right? Thanks so much for watching. Hit me up on Instagram at the Tropical Fish Guy. Get the newsletter, weekly newsletter telling you tips, tricks, all the cool stuff. Uh, tropicalfishguy.com slash sign up. Check out my merch, tropicalfishguy.com slash merch. And thank you so much for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Couldn't do this without you guys. Leave a comment and let me know what videos you want me to do next in the future. So once again, I can't thank you guys enough. Really appreciate you watching and happy fish keeping. Peace out. Nothing more satisfying than happy fish. Well, you know what I mean. They look good and they like their new tank and they are doing fine.